and stamping. I'm going to be using this Born Pretty Store plate. And this is plate 21. And I'm going to either use the circles or this design. Okay, and then I'm going to be painting my nails with um, this red carpet yellow polish. And this, what is this called? Where's the name? Oh, it's called Pineapple Premiere. And then I'm going to be topping that with this uh, Funky Fingers gel polish. And this is a glitter kind of holographic. And this is called Lots of L-U-A-U. Okay? So let's get started. So the first thing is you want to make sure your nails are clean and then wipe them down with alcohol. And it would be best if you had lint-free wipes, but I don't. So I'm using this cotton ball. Okay, and then once you have that, I'm gonna be using the red carpet structure. So I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit. The acetone, I mean, not the acetone, the alcohol and then we are going to apply our base coat and you want really thin super thin thin layers and i learned this the hard way i used to hate gel polish because i would always do it wrong i would use too thick of coats and then it would peel off on me so you want really thin coats And you want to cap the edges if you can, if you have longer nails. If you have shorter nails, try to cap the edges, but just be careful. Make sure you're using thin coats. So I dunked this brush like one time, and I think it's going to be enough to do at least three nails. Okay, one more. Okay, and then if you got any on your skin, take something to clean it up around the edges. And then stick it in the light to cure. I'm not an expert at the gel polish. You know, I'm just like into using it because it's super shiny. Okay, I'm going to cure this and I will be back. Okay, so now I'm going to come in with my yellow polish. Um... I actually like to buy these gel polishes on clearance from Ulta and Sally's just because they are really expensive as compared to regular nail polishes. So I actually got recently four of them for $7 from Ulta. Um, the only downside is, is that they're not the brand new colors, but that's totally fine because I can wait for the new colors. I would just rather not pay as much. So... If you're into that I would totally check them out I got a yellow um, a kind of shimmery taupe color a pink and what was the other color I don't remember so again with the super thin coats as you can see so I'm gonna do my first coat cure it and do the second coat and I will be back when we are adding the glitter on. Okay, so now I'm back. This is what two coats of the yellow looks like. It's a little sheer and it could also have been my fault. Um, It probably needs to be shaken up really well and I was just getting kind of impatient. So these gel polishes you need to shake up really, really good. Okay, so this is kind of like a jelly glitter with holographic glitter but it's green so I put down the yellow to make the glitter to make it look more yellow I mean more green like a limey kind of greeny color if that makes sense so now you can't really see the yellow it's just more of a bright greeny yellow color <laughs> you can't see the yellow but it's a bright greeny yellow color okay I am going to do one coat of this and then cure it. So now I'm just going to go ahead and stamp 
this circle design on my nails using my Queen Black Polish and my Creative Shop Stamper and Scraper. So we will see how this design right here stamps. And it's kind of interesting because it actually has a lot of empty space. So hopefully it picks up pretty decently. At least I'm hoping. And then we'll roll it. And that's what it looks like. So yeah, it does pick up really good. So let me go ahead and stamp this, push my nail. And that's what it looks like. So I am going to continue and once I have my nails stamped, I will be back. Okay, so this is what um, the stamp looks like. This um, image on this board pretty store plate number 21. This one was giving me a little trouble um, scraping. I tried it all sorts of different ways and I was still getting um, empty spots. I don't know if you can tell like right there. There's a little one and I mean nobody's going to notice that when they're looking at your hands but I mean like right there there's an empty spot it's just kind of annoying um it could have been my stamper and scraper it could have been my polish but this is as good as it's gonna get and I think just for the first time that I'm using this image I think it turned out pretty decent so now what I'm going to do is I am going to add my gel top coat but I have to let this dry all the way before I do that. So I will be back with the finished design and I will show you what so that looks like. So here are the nails and what they look like. Both hands. And again, this is BP plate 21 and I used that design. I'll have a link to this plate and a 10% off code in uh, the description bar. One thing I wanted to say was before I stamped, since I did use gel polish, I did clean the polish with alcohol so that it wouldn't be sticky. And then I stamped, and then I did the top coat, and then I cleaned again with alcohol. So, just in case you were wondering. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.